So I have two great friends named Josh and Deems. Um, I met these guys when I worked in the Pentagon and it was kind of a stressful office environment, but we were like youngish guys and we approached everything with like a, an irreverent sense of humor. So we passed our time talking about the things that, you know, like 28 year old slash 15 year old guys talked about, which are like poops, farts and sex. Um, so we talked a lot about the food offerings in the Pentagon. Uh, you had like lots of fast food type stuff. Not a whole lot of it was good, but we had a, a, a process we called the tummy tumble which is where you would eat something greasy and it would basically hasten the, the digestive process. So, you know, entry to exit was, was pretty quick. Um, so we would talk about this and we talked about um, our, our, our big two uh, instigators of the tummy tumble were the Big Mac. And uh, there was something at Taco Bell, it was like the, uh, the seven layer burrito or like the burrito supreme or something like that anyway. We all indulged in these from time to time and we all experienced the after effects. Uh, so one day we decided that it would be a great idea to each order both of these items um, and eat them and then see who could hold out the longest afterward before the exit had to happen. So we stood in line at McDonald's and we stood in line at uh, Taco Bell and we each ordered these things um, and the consumption itself was uncomfortable. So it was already, it, it was destined for it to be a bad situation. We actually all sat in a row in the same um, office space so we could watch each other. So we ate, we ate our meals and then you could see, you could feel what was happening in your own body and you could see it reflected in the other two as well. <laughs> so, you know, you feel, you know, so after about 30 minutes, like there's the uncomfortable shifting, you know, and you're kind of looking at each other like this was not a really great idea. Um, probably a little bit over an hour, you start to hear like some gurgling. Um, and I would say maybe like about an hour and a half was the first actual moan. Uh, I, I, think, I think that was Deems, but it was at about the two hour and 15 minute mark that Josh all of a sudden couldn't take it anymore and you could see him just shift in his chair and tighten up and then he bolted for the door. And so Deems and I looked at each other, this sense of victory, um, but really we didn't win either because Josh left us a present on the way out, which, so we realized that soon after. Um, so Josh was the loser that day, but this was actually a victory for everybody because these two guys, um, I've known them for 12 years, and this three-way text between the three of us is actually one of the last texts that's still active on my phone. So, there you go.